This is the Sequential Tom, one of the last drum machines made by Sequential, and unfortunately it was made at the kind of twilight of their life. Digital synthesis had just come through and analog synths weren't the order of the day, so the company failed soon after this. It's a remarkable little device. It uses the same kind of 8-bit engine as a Lindrum or a DX or DMX. And you can hear the sounds are just as punchy. That's those 8-bit uh, digital to analog converters being fed out of all of this old style of circuitry. Now, the great thing is about this machine is that all of the sounds were just on one internal EEPROM chip. That also meant that Sequential could develop these expansion cartridges that uh, would allow you to add a whole series of extra sounds. There's seven per cartridge. Now, you can see I've got one plugged in here, but it's got some LEDs on the front. This is a cartridge that's made by HKA Design, and it allows for eight separate cartridges to be fitted in just one device. If you've seen these kind of form factors before, it's because apparently they're very similar to Commodore 64 style cartridges, and I believe Sequential even made an expansion cartridge for the Commodore 64. So pressing the cartridge button will get you seven additional sounds. And this is a lovely 808 kit. It's really interesting to me how analog sounds from that machine sound so good when they're encoded into 8-bit firing out of these kind of things. As you can hear, the clap is panned hard to the right, and you've actually got some basic uh, sound parameters. So I can pan it hard to the left, center, or to the right. You can also tune the drum dramatically. In fact, let me just put that central and so you can hear it properly. And there's that wonderful sound as an 8-bit sample gets pulled down in a pitch that was so famously used by Prince with his Lindrum. What's remarkable about this little device is that, believe it or not, you can record not only the tuning, the instrument volume, and the instrument pan into the sequence. And this means that this box is effectively like a, a kind of fledgling MIDI sequencer. And I'm pretty sure some baseline ideas were thrown into this in its use in studios. Okay, let's try that out. I'm gonna put some stereo claps in on this particular simple sequence. Now, I'm just going to center that instrument up, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm also going to tune it down quite a long way. There's one other button near the cartridge port here. That is for reverse, and that does exactly what it says on the tin. Unfortunately, there's no LED, so you never know whether your sounds are reversed, but... It will reverse all of the sounds, whether they be cartridge or just the internals. And yes, that does get recorded. Now I'm just gonna drop the level of the kick drum a bit. And let's see if we can put a kind of skipped kick into there as well. Now, it's actually only got four voices in there, but there's some very clever dynamic allocation. The machine will look at whichever sample has the least amount to play and actually stop that one, but it doesn't kind of cut it off directly. I'm assuming there's some VCAs involved. It sounds quite natural when it does that, and this mixture of all of these reverse sounds um, on top of other programming can sound really interesting. The only trouble is it's only got a stereo output, so you kind of have to get a groove going and then stick that down. But these machines are completely accessible at the moment. They haven't reached silly money just yet. They probably will in the future. If you do pick one up, I'd highly recommend getting in touch with um, HKA Design and getting these cartridges because, for example, this is one set of kits I have on this cartridge. <laughs> So they've all got this wonderful 8-bit soul. So I'm going to put a little kit together that you can grab free on the F9 site. Links will be uh, connected to this video. So please come and grab it and get yourself a little bit of 80s soul.